Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. Happy Easter to those that celebrate. I know this video is a little late tonight, but I wanted to get something out for Easter, and I thought this would be the perfect project. I found this placemat at Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 with 40% off, and right away my brain kicked in. How can I use this for art? There must be a way. So I came up with a couple of different ways. This is just one that you're going to see right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I got my new Starburst Galaxy colors from Color Art that I haven't gotten a chance to play with yet. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use some of them. They come with two bottles of medium, but because of the technique I'm going to be doing with them, I'm going to use the regular gloss gel first. I need some body to my paints for this to work. Now, my idea is I'm going to use a palette knife and actually use this Easter egg as a, like a stencil. Now, if you want to sponge your colors on, then either the Vivid Enamel or the Polypore that comes with the kit will work just fine. But because I needed the colors to be really thick, I chose to go with the gloss medium here or the gloss gel, I'm sorry. So all I had to do was put a little bit of this gel on the plate, add a little bit of my primary elements to them and mix them up. It's that easy. Now these 13 new colors are absolutely stunning. If you haven't gotten them yet, I highly suggest you go over there with my discount and get a set. They are beautiful. I'm just a huge fan of Primary Elements and the Resin Art line from Color Art. And now the Prism Pour colors. There's just so many beautiful colors. And it's not just limited to acrylic pouring. You know, you can use it for something like this for stenciling, uh, art journaling, mixed media work. If you are a clay worker or, you know, they're, it, they're very versatile. They're not only for paint pouring. Some of my best projects that I've done have been using these and I will always go to them hands down. I will mention quick, if you want to learn how to use these for acrylic pouring, just type in Tammy Anderson art, primary elements, and you'll get a ton of videos. Okay, so here I am. I'm mixing up this shadow moon into the paste. Now, it'll look a little bit, a little, little tiny bit lighter than the true color. But once the paste dries, it comes flooding back the color. Um, you won't lose any of the sparkle or color shifting qualities that primary elements are known for. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can always add a little bit more as you see me doing here because I may not have added enough. You always want to start with less to preserve your products. And then if you need more, just add a little bit more in. So this is the shadow moon. Now you're not going to see any sparkle or anything like that right now. But let me tell you something. Once this video is over with and I show you the close up, you are not going to believe your eyes. So all I'm doing is putting some on the back of the palette knife and I'm going to spread it on top of the placemat while pushing down to, to make sure that it fills in all of those sections. And um, I'm putting some purple in this corner, a little bit in another corner, and I'm going to kind of do a kind of just blending all the colors together. I'm not doing all purple in one area. So 
So to shorten up this video a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up a lot of it. Um, it's very repetitive. So each color that I use, I do exactly what you see me do with this purple. I mix it up with the gloss medium or the gloss gel, sorry, and put a little bit of color into each area. So the next color I'm using here is a co color called Carnival Holy Hot Fuchsia. What a beauty. Let me just say that. <laughs> I love those vibrant, like the jasmine and uh, plumeria and just th this color here, though. Wow. It is a fun color. So I'm going to lay some of this down. And then I have a few other colors, I believe. And I will let you know what the names of those are. Now, obviously, you can do this with stencils, too. You don't have to use a plate mat. It's just that I found this one, and I thought it was really cool. Um, another thing I could tell you when you're working like this, take your colors and kind of put some on top of each other because you'll get some beautiful highlights and lowlights, and I'll show you those and what I'm talking about when I do the close-up. But, yeah, you'll notice I'm putting some of that pink on top of the purple. So just have some fun with it and be sporadic with the color. The next color in this set is called Cosmos. It's a really pretty pink. And if you haven't seen all of these colors just mixed in like a pouring medium, I'm going to link a video for you in the description. It was my auction preview video, but at the end, I showed all 13 colors in all of their glory. So if you want to get an idea of what you're getting in the kit, you'll know what they look like. And like I said, not only do you get the 20% off with my discount code, you're also going to get uh, two free bottles of medium. And let me just explain to you those two mediums that come with the set. You're going to get a bottle of enamel, which is basically an untinted paint base. So you can mix your primary elements in with that base and you can brush paint with it. You can pour paint if you want to add something like varnish or a little bit of pouring medium or even just some water, whatever your recipe is. It all works fine. The polypour is the enamel but with varnish added to it. So if you're into blooms and don't want to have to add varnish to your products, you can get use that and uh, along with your other paints that you use and do the bloom technique or pour paint. It, they're all pretty versatile. So after this, I have one other color to go. Um, but you're going to see me here. I'm taking my palette knife and dragging it along all of the colors, kind of blending them together. That, again, will give you some really nice effects when you lift up your stencil, or in this case, a placemat. So the next color you're going to see is called Milky Way. It is a blingit colored that's sold by Color Art. Now, this does not come with the kit, but you can buy it separately. This color here, if you add it to your other primary elements or if you add it to your resin, because it is multi-use. The primary elements are for acrylic sports, we'll say, such as acrylic pouring, uh, painting, stuff like that. Resin art colors are made for resin. This blingit line goes into both acrylic pouring or resin. So you can add this stuff to some gel medium like I'm doing, or I keep calling it gel medium, gloss gel, or you can add it to your acrylic paints. It will dissolve. It creates the most beautiful sparkle. And let me just give you one more close up of that in the dark, dark, um, 
It's just phenomenal. I love it. So anyway, that's called the Milky Way Diamond Galaxy, I believe. Um, and it's an absolutely gorgeous color. So this is the last color I'm going to be using. And all those holes that you see the left open, I'm going to use that color there. And I'm also going to blend it into the other colored areas also. And then once I'm done with that, we are going to remove the stencil slash placemat and see what we have. All right, so now that I have that all filled in, while it's still wet, I'm going to remove the tape and lift up the placemat very slowly. You don't want to go too fast because accidents happen and you can ruin the whole thing. I will tell you, this is a spoiler alert. This came out absolutely beautiful. Now, there were a few areas where the placemat was so like the the cuttings were so so tiny that it missed a little area here and there but 99.9% .9 of it is gorgeous in those areas I could definitely fix up and I'm not worried about that at all so here we go I'll tell you what I was really shocked that this worked you know not everything I find works and boy oh boy did it work? Right about now, I was screaming, swearing. <laughs> I was so excited, yelling at my husband to come see this, how pretty it came out. Uh, so therefore, I had to mute the video and do this voiceover. But I'm going to give you a close up now of what it looks like. And you are not going to believe it. Then again, I always say that. And you're probably like, shut up, Tammy. Who cares? It's just some paint. So here it is. Don't mind the lighting. It's late at night. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now when I was doing this. Uh, I'm just so impressed with how good this came out. You know, I, I had my doubts, but man, is it gorgeous. And I, once I put the flash on for you, whew. so yeah. Um, now next, what I do is I put a couple of dots of stickles glitter glue into those flowers because for some reason they didn't have a center look at these colors look at the the purple in the right bottom corner of the screen i'll come back to it again in a second it is just i'm hoping that i show you see there how the purple and the white and the pink all blended together gave some nice shading effects that's what i was talking about Pay attention to those bigger areas so you can see the sparkle of those colors. That Cosmos color is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, right there. See how it's nice. It's got some shading around the edge. And oh, this it's just such a fun piece. So these are stickles. They are glitter glues, but like really good glitter glues. So this one's cotton candy. I'm just going to put a drop in the center of those three flowers let it dry and then i'm going to come back to finish it off so it's the next day easter and i have there a festive easter green tablecloth for you <laughs> which is not something I would typically use, but anyway, these are three other primary elements that I'm going to use. Well, actually four. Uh, one is called Sweet Pea. One was, I believe, Papillon. And then I had Heavenly White and Golden Diamonds, which is a bling -it color. And for this part, you can use either the Polypore or the Vivid Enamel, as I just showed you, that come with the kit. So I'm putting some polypore in the cup, 
with some of that sweet pea color mixing it together and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put dollops of color on the canvas pull them out with a brush so it looks like a starburst coming out of the egg now let me tell you something do not judge this painting until you see me do the close-up because looks are deceiving in this case I cannot believe the effect I got doing this. And I haven't done this in a very, very long time. And I forgot how beautiful it is. So again, just mixing up the colors. I'll give you a quick look at them. So this is Sweet Pea, a very, very pale pink with a beautiful violet shift. Then I have the Papillon, which is a very light baby blue with a violet shift up next is the heavenly white which is like a chantilly lace almost um but with a gold shift so it's it's like a lighter version of the french silk and then this is golden diamonds here which is a beautiful gold. Again, this color can go in resin or acrylic pouring. And I also chose to add in some of my favorite French silk prism pour. So not only am I using prism pours in this project, I'm also using the poly pour mixed with the primary elements. All right, so I sped this up. It's very simple to understand. Just put down some drops of color all around the egg. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to pull all of those colors out together at the same time. Now you'll notice I did not add in the gold. I didn't want to add the gold in right away. I wanted to pull out the colors first, then go back and streak some gold through the colors. Now, very important. I did this process that you're seeing here two times. So I put the color down, pulled it out put some gold down, pulled it out, and then I went back and added more color in the areas that I thought it was very, like, sparse, we'll say, uh, little bare spots, and pulled some more paint through there. So just as you see me doing right now. But you can do this just one time and be done with it. Now, again, remember, looks are very deceiving. Wait until I do the close-up. So I turned the egg around just to make my life a little easier. And now I'm going to swipe the other half. So once I'm done with this step, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to reassess it. I mean, it looks beautiful the way that it is. I'm definitely going to put a coat of resin on it. I know that for a fact. But um, I'm going to reassess maybe some of the, the edges. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, this is going to be a video where you'll see somewhat the end results, but I may work some more on it. So let me know if you think I need to do a little work on the interior of the egg. Should I add maybe some little, you know, sparkles or, or what should I do there? So this is me putting the gold down now, but again, I'm adding more color and I'm going to pull it over that gold. And in the end, they all blend together beautifully. Once this dries, I will end up adding some gold areas to the eggs so that it ties it all together. But for today, I just wanted to show you what I worked on for Easter. I hope your eyeballs are ready for what you're about to see because these, <laughs> this was just amazing when I did a close up. So here we go, my friends. 
first I'll show you just in the daylight what we're looking at. Doesn't look anything special. And why I like to show day versus the flash is because once you put resin on it, it will look as what you see in this video when I have the flash on. Like the colors just illuminate and they come back to life and they are absolutely gorgeous. So that's why I like to show you that. Plus, it's just so pretty. I mean, look at this background. Do you even comprehend what this is going to look like under resin? It's going to look just like that. It's gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the description for the information on this new set. I highly recommend it. And thank you so very much for joining me today. Again, if you celebrate Easter, I want to wish you a happy Easter. I had all the grandkids over today, went nuts. They're gone home now, so it's time to relax. Uh, and I just, I hope you had a really good day. Check out those sparkles, my friends. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I love you all. And until the next one, happy pouring.